So this is the section of the video which I'm going to literally call a shrine. <laughs> um, this is where I kind of reveal myself as not just being a collector, as a truly obs perfume obsessed person. Um, as you can see there's not a big variation in scents, there's just a whole lot of each one I think. Um, these are the fragrances that strike a massive chord with me, things that I've hunted down in vintage form and just obsessed about. It's crazy, I, you know, there's certain fragrances in this world where you stop in your tracks and you really just fall in love and for one reason or another each of these perfumes here strike a chord with me somewhere right in here and this is why I've done this little section of obsession basically so I'm going to start over here with this <laughs> um, museum of Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme otherwise known as Red Cap I've reviewed this one uh, as well individually again I will put the, the things up here the ice cream man's around here again I did a review before and there was a, the ice cream man came around he seems to come around every time I want to do perfume reviews maybe he's telling me something I don't know um, yeah anybody that has worn this before or owns it and loves it will understand my obsession with this this is just one smell that I don't think I could ever be without I don't want to ever run out of it hence the crazy amount of <laughs> liquid that I have here um, <clears throat> it's just uh, I don't know even know where to begin I'm just gonna say that <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> all the time uh, anyway this is just the most glamorous aldehylic beautiful powdery um, <clears throat> rich perfume that is now discontinued which is why I went into crazy hoard mode and bought about a million bottles of it so I have all of these on full I have this one's unwrapped this is unwrapped this is unwrapped and then these ones are obviously where they are but I managed to find it's an eau de toilette this this fragrance and it shouldn't be classed as an eau de toilette it is one of the strongest most glamorous developing fragrances I've ever smelled and I managed to find this this is a different concentration of it I've never heard of it before until I started getting into perfumery it's a parfum de toilette which is apparently in between eau de parfum and eau de toilette so it's a little bit stronger not that it needs to be because it's it's just crazy strong but my bird, my bird wants ice cream I'll get, him, I'll get him a cone in a minute that's fine so yeah, hello, this is just unhealthy to some people, but very healthy and happy to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on to the Guerlain fragrances, or Guerlain, I can never pronounce his name properly. Um, Shalimar, if you don't know already, this should be in every person's perfume collection. This is just, this is one of the first perfumes that ever made me stop and chase after somebody in the middle of a shopping centre and ask them what they were wearing um, and I'm so glad I did because now I know what it is because it can take a long time to find something you know London's a busy place and people smell amazing all the time and you go to work on the underground and people are rushing around and there's not always time to say oh that's really nice and you know you don't want to be impolite but this one I'm glad I found the bottle is beautiful ornate um, it's just a huge vanilla powder cloud um, excuse me while I just go and chop the bird's head off one second bird safely in the oven so uh, on to samsara it's just amazing um, this is a huge fragrance in my head like this is the fragrance that I will never get bored of smelling. <clears throat> I've smelt this a thousand million times, I've worn it a thousand times, um, and I don't think I'll ever get bored of it, like I say, it's just, it, it just resonates really deeply with me, I love it. <clears throat> so there's lots of different variations of this, Samsara has been a chameleon over the years, it's changed, it's, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've literally hunted down different formulations vintage and new and I don't know there's a massive difference when you actually smell them from 
bottle to bottle. So I have this one, which is the Eau de Parfum version, but the newer formulation, beautiful, kind of dry, woody, <laughs> the bird. I'm going to kill the bird in a minute. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so this is the Eau de Parfum. He's so distracting. This one's the Eau de Parfum version of the newer version. This is the Eau de Toilette. No way in any contest would these two win over these two. This, these are the vintage versions of the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum. It's a whole different level of Samsara. Richer. The sandalwood is more glorious. It's just a whole different level of perfume. It's one of those one spray and you can smell it for days. It's amazing. I did find on eBay as well this little tiny thing. This is the pure parfum version of Samsara. I don't even know how to put this stuff on. I don't know if I should use a pipette so it doesn't melt with my skin. You know when you do that with a bottle, you get skin particles in there and stuff. I don't know what to do with this, but it's kind of really cute and yeah, that is going to be the strongest version you can get of Samsara. So it comes in a cute little box and stuff. I don't even know how to wear that, but I have it anyway. And then on to Cacharel. So Eden. <clears throat> this is something that a lot of people don't understand. Um, it's you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. It's it took me a while to actually understand how amazing it actually is. It's one of those things that I think people overspray quite a bit. It's like a poisonous jungle flower perfume. There's a lot going on. It has kind of lipsticky tones to it. It just needs to really settle on your skin and. This is, I've managed to find the vintage version of this as well because again, it's been reformulated. Um, this is the before vintage, before vintage, before reformulation. And this is the, I managed to find a good bottle of the older version. A good little tip if you want to find um, the original formula, Cacharel changed their packaging and if you can find a bottle of Cacharel that has it in the elliptical shape, then you know you've got the old stuff. The new stuff just has cash oil written like that. So I hope you can see that. Same goes for Lulu. Um, this one is crazy. I mean, I don't really wear it very often. It's a little bit scary, but I do like the smell of it. It's a smoky incense, kind of tons of flowers, real 80s ponytail on the side of the head and shoulder pads fragrance. Um, but the same goes old with the plain cacharel and then you've got sorry new <laughs> I should have said and then the old one has the elliptical shape so with cacharel if you want vintage and you want the stronger stuff um, yeah go for the one that has the little rim around it I've done reviews comparison reviews between vintage and new on both of these so I'll put the links up somewhere like I said um, and that's it for now that's, that's the obsession section over I need to go and lie down I think this is it's kind of bad but they're so pretty I just love them